Service Teardown, HP Pavilion 23.8-inch all-in-one desktop PC. How to replace the speaker chin. Removal. Carefully pry up on the outer edges of the speaker chin to disengage the hooks on it from the display cover. Lift the speaker chin straight out and off the display cover and remove. Replacement. Insert the hooks on the speaker chin into the cutouts in the display cover. Apply pressure to the outer edges of the speaker chin to engage the hooks and secure it into position on the display cover. How to replace the LCD panel. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin. Removal. Remove the seven P2 Phillips head screws that secure the LCD panel to the display cover. Starting with the bottom front corners of the LCD panel, carefully pry up on the edges of the LCD panel to separate it from the display cover. Lift the panel up and slide it toward the top of the unit until you have access to the LCD panel cables and connectors. Disengage and remove the backlight cable from the routing clip on the display cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the LCD panel ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Remove the LCD panel. Replacement. Position the LCD panel so you have access to both the LCD panel cables and connectors on the motherboard. Insert the LCD panel ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the motherboard and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Reconnect the backlight cable and route the cable through the routing clip on the display cover. Carefully lay the LCD panel into position on the display cover. Carefully apply pressure to the edges of the LCD panel to secure it to the display cover. Replace the seven P2 Phillips head screws that secure the LCD panel to the display cover. How to replace the LCD panel frame. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin and LCD panel. Removal. Remove the backlight cable from the routing channel on the LCD panel frame. Disconnect the backlight cable from the connector on the LCD panel. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the LCD panel. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the LCD panel frame to the front edge of the LCD panel. Remove the nine P2 Phillips head screws that secure the LCD panel frame to the LCD panel. Lift the LCD panel frame straight up and off the LCD panel and remove. Replacement. Slide the LCD panel frame into position over the LCD panel. Replace the nine P2 Phillips head screws that secure the LCD panel frame to the LCD panel. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the LCD panel frame to the front edge of the LCD panel. Connect the display panel cable into the connector on the LCD panel. Connect the backlight cable into the connector on the LCD panel. Route the backlight cable through the routing channel on the LCD panel bracket. How to replace the display stand. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin and LCD panel. Removal. Remove the four P2 Phillips head screws that secure the display stand to the hinge. Carefully slide the display stand out of the cutout in the display enclosure and remove. Replacement. Guide the display stand into the cutout in the display cover and align it with the hinge. Replace the four P2 Phillips head screws that secure the display stand to the hinge. How to replace the memory modules. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin. LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Remove the memory module. Replacement. Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the motherboard. 
at an angle, gently insert the memory module into its slot on the motherboard. Push down on the edge of the memory module until the arms click into place. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard shielding. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement Important! Ensure the thermal pad is properly positioned before the solid state drive is replaced. Align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot on the motherboard. Gently insert the solid state drive into the slot on the motherboard. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the display cover. How to replace the wireless LAN module Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cable from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade computer performance. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless module to the motherboard shielding. Grasp the wireless module by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the motherboard. Replacement Align the notch in the wireless module with the key in the wireless module slot on the motherboard. Gently insert the wireless module into its slot on the motherboard. Press the wireless module down and replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless module to the motherboard. Reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cable to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade computer performance. How to replace the hard disk drive assembly Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and Display Stand Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the hard disk drive assembly to the display cover. Slide the hard disk assembly towards the top of the display cover to release the bracket slots from the alignment tabs on the motherboard shielding. Lift and slide the hard disk drive assembly out of the display cover and remove. Replacement Important! If installing a new hard disk drive, remove the hard disk drive bracket and cables from the old hard disk drive and install on the new hard disk drive. Align the bracket slots with the alignment tabs on the motherboard shielding and slide the hard disk drive assembly toward the bottom of the display cover. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the hard disk drive assembly to the display cover. Insert the hard disk drive ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the motherboard and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the power button board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Disconnect the power button board cable from the power button board. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the power button board to the display cover. Lift the power button board off the display cover and remove. Replacement Place the power button board into position on the display cover. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the power button board to the display cover. Connect the power button board cable into the power button board. How to replace the audio board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Disconnect the audio board cable from the audio board. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the audio board to the display cover. Lift the audio board off the alignment pins, slide the external connector out of the cutout in the display cover, and remove. Replacement 
Tow the external connector on the audio board into the cutout in the display cover and lower it onto the alignment pins. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the audio board to the display cover. Connect the audio board cable into the audio board. How to replace the OSD board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the OSD board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the OSD board. Remove the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the OSD board to the display cover. Lift the OSD board off the alignment pins on the display cover and turn the OSD board over. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the OSD board to the bracket. Slide the OSD board out of the bracket and remove. Replacement Place the OSD board into position on the bracket. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the OSD board to the bracket. Turn the OSD board over and slide it onto the alignment pins on the display cover. Replace the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the OSD board to the display cover. Insert the OSD board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the OSD board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the wireless keyboard USB board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the USB board. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the USB board to the hinge assembly. Lift the USB board off the alignment pins on the display cover and remove. Replacement Slide the USB board onto the alignment pins on the display cover. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the USB board to the hinge assembly. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the USB board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the remote control board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Release the remote control board from the alignment pin that secures it in place and slide it out of the display cover. Disconnect the remote control board cable from the connector on the remote control board. Remove the remote control board. Replacement Connect the remote control board cable into the connector on the remote control board. Slide the remote control board into the notch on the display cover and replace the alignment pin that secures it into position. How to replace the TV tuner board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal Carefully disconnect the antenna cable from the TV tuner board by grasping the connector with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution: Use care when disconnecting the antenna cable from the TV tuner board. A damaged cable or connector can degrade computer performance. Remove the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the TV tuner bracket to the display cover. Lift the TV tuner bracket and slide it out from under the lip on the display cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the TV tuner board to the display cover. Grasp the TV tuner board by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the TV transfer board. Replacement Align the notch in the TV tuner board with the key in the slot on the TV transfer board. Gently insert the TV tuner board into its slot on the TV transfer board. Press the TV tuner board down and replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure it to the TV transfer board. Tow the TV tuner bracket under the lip on the display cover and lower it into position over the TV tuner board. Replace the P2 Phillips head screw that secures the TV tuner bracket to the display cover. Reconnect the antenna cable to the TV tuner board. Caution: Use care when connecting the antenna cable to the TV tuner board. A damaged cable or connector can degrade computer performance. How to replace the TV transfer board Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, TV tuner board, and display stand. Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up on the two TV transfer board ZIF connectors and disconnect the ribbon cables from the TV transfer board. 
Remove the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the TV transfer board to the display cover. Lift the TV tuner board off the standoffs on the display cover and remove. Replacement. Place the TV tuner board onto the standoffs on the display cover. Replace the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the TV transfer board to the display cover. Insert the two TV tuner board ribbon cables into the two ZIF connectors on the TV tuner board and press the locking bar down to lock the cables into place. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Disconnect the audio board cable from the connector on the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the TV tuner transfer board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the wireless keyboard USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard. Remove the speaker cable from the routing channel on the motherboard shielding. Carefully slide the speaker off the posts on the display cover and remove. Replacement. Important. If installing new speakers, remove the rubber grommets from the old speakers and install them on the new speakers. Slide the speaker onto the posts on the display cover. Important. Ensure the rubber grommets are properly positioned between the speakers and posts. Route the speaker cable through the routing channel on the motherboard shielding. Insert the wireless keyboard USB board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the motherboard and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the TV tuner transfer board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the motherboard and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the audio board cable onto the connector on the motherboard. Connect the speaker cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the fan. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Disconnect the fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the three P2 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the display cover. Slide the fan off the alignment pins on the display cover and remove. Replacement. Slide the fan onto the alignment pins on the display cover. Replace the three P2 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the display cover. Connect the fan cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the scaler board. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the OSD board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the scaler board. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the scaler board to the motherboard. To disconnect the scaler board from the motherboard, lift the scaler board straight up and off the standoffs on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Align the scaler board screw holes with the standoffs on the motherboard and lower it into position. Apply gentle pressure between the screw holes on the left side of the scaler board to connect it into the connector on the motherboard. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the scaler board to the motherboard. Insert the OSD board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the scaler board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the wireless LAN antenna. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cable for later replacement. Disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cable from the wireless LAN module. Remove the wireless antenna cable from the routing channel that secures it to the display cover. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the wireless antenna transceiver to the display cover. Using a non-conductive, flat-bladed tool, Remove the wireless antenna transceiver from the adhesive and alignment pins on the display cover and remove. Replacement. Caution. 
Use care when handling and installing the new antenna. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antenna and degrade performance. Place the wireless antenna transceiver onto the alignment pins on the display cover and apply pressure to adhere it into place. Carefully adhere the metallic tape that secures the wireless antenna transceiver to the display cover. Route the wireless antenna cable through the routing channel that secures it to the display cover. Reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cable to the wireless LAN module. How to replace the webcam assembly. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector of the motherboard. Remove the webcam cable from the routing channel on the display cover. Note, the webcam assembly has numbers adjacent to the following six screws. In numerical order, remove the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the webcam assembly to the bracket. Slide the webcam assembly out of the display cover and guide the webcam cable out of the cutout. Remove the webcam assembly. Replacement. Guide the webcam cable through the cutout and slide the webcam assembly into the display cover. In numerical order, replace the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the webcam assembly to the bracket. Route the webcam cable through the routing channel on the display cover. Connect the webcam cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Carefully release the RTC battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Carefully secure the RTC battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, and display stand. Removal. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following three screws. Loosen the captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heatsink to the display cover. Loosen the three captive P2 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Lift the heatsink straight up and off the processor and remove it from the motherboard. Replacement. Using an alcohol swab, carefully remove the thermal grease from the heatsink and processor. According to the individual specifications for your particular processor, apply new thermal grease to the processor. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the standoffs on the motherboard and lower the heatsink into position over the processor. Tighten the three captive P2 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Tighten the captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heatsink to the display cover. How to replace the Intel CPU. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, display stand, and heatsink. Removal. Press down to release the CPU load lever from its retention tab and pull it back. Lift the load plate off the socket. Important. Identify the pin 1 triangle on the socket and CPU prior to removing the CPU. Important, when handling the CPU, do not touch the CPU contacts. Carefully lift the CPU straight up and out of the socket. Replacement. Align the pin 1 triangle on the CPU with the pin 1 triangle on the socket. Carefully lower the CPU into position in the socket. Swing the load plate down. Lock the load lever under its retaining tab to secure the CPU in place. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, display stand, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, fan, and scalar board. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the location of all cables connected to the motherboard for later replacement. Disconnect all cables from the connectors on the motherboard. 
loosen the captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heatsink to the display cover. Remove the seven P2 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the motherboard shielding. Important, the external I.O. connectors are attached to the back side of the motherboard. Take care not to damage them when removing the motherboard. Carefully lift the motherboard straight up and out of the motherboard shielding and remove. Replacement Important, if installing a new motherboard, remove the memory modules, RTC battery, heatsink, and CPU from the old motherboard and install on the new motherboard. Align the external connectors on the motherboard with the cutouts in the display cover and lower the motherboard into position. Replace the seven P2 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the motherboard shielding. Tighten the captive P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heatsink to the display cover. Connect all cables into the connectors on the motherboard. Important, after motherboard replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the computer, updating the BIOS, how to replace the F connector and SIM board. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, display stand, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, remote control board, fan, scalar board, and motherboard. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the SIM board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the SIM board. Remove the F connector antenna and remote control cables from the routing channel on the motherboard shielding. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the F connector bracket to the motherboard shielding. Slide the F connector out of the cutout in the display cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the SIM board to the F connector bracket. Slide the SIM board out of the F connector bracket and remove. Replacement. Slide the SIM board into position on the F connector bracket. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the SIM board to the F connector bracket. Insert the F connector into the cutout in the display cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the F connector bracket to the motherboard shielding. Route the F connector antenna and remote control cables through the routing channel on the motherboard shielding. Insert the SIM board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the SIM board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the motherboard shielding. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, display stand, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, hard disk drive assembly, remote control board, TV tuner board, TV transfer board, fan, scalar board, and motherboard. Removal. Remove the 10 silver P2 Phillips head screws that secure the lower half of the motherboard shielding to the hinge assembly. Remove the five black P2 Phillips head screws that secure the upper half of the motherboard shielding to the display cover. Carefully lift on the motherboard shielding straight up and off the hinge assembly and display cover and remove. Replacement. Place the motherboard shielding into position on the hinge assembly and display cover. Important, ensure that there are no cables pinched between the motherboard shielding and hinge assembly or display cover. Replace the five black P2 Phillips head screws that secure the upper half of the motherboard shielding to the display cover. Replace the 10 silver P2 Phillips head screws that secure the lower half of the motherboard shielding to the hinge assembly. How to replace the hinge assembly. Before you begin, remove the speaker chin, LCD panel, Display stand, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, hard disk drive assembly, wireless keyboard USB board, remote control board, TV tuner board, TV transfer board, fan, scalar board, motherboard, and motherboard shielding. Removal. Remove the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the hinge assembly to the display cover. Carefully lift on the hinge assembly straight up and off the display cover and remove. Replacement. Place the hinge assembly into position on the display cover. Replace the two P2 Phillips head screws that secure the hinge assembly to the display cover. 
Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.